Today's question is, how can I know what God's timing is? In this video, I'll answer that question from a biblical perspective. Then afterwards, as always, I'll share some helpful resources, so stick around until the end. The first thing we need to understand about God's timing is that it's perfect, just as all of God's ways are perfect. Psalm chapter 18, verse 30, and Galatians chapter 4, verse 4. God's timing is never early and it's never been late. In fact, from before our birth until the moment we take our last earthly breath, our sovereign God is accomplishing his divine purposes in our lifetimes. He is in complete control of everything and everyone from everlasting to everlasting. No event in history has put so much as a wrinkle in the timing of God's eternal plan, which he designed before the foundation of the world. One would think, then, that by understanding the sovereignty of our Creator, patience and waiting would come a little more easily. Unfortunately, however, that's not always the case. Our human nature can make waiting for God's perfect timing a difficult thing to do. In fact, in the hustle and bustle of our frenzied lives, we often find it difficult to wait for anything or anyone. We want what we want now, and with our modern technological advances, we're often able to get what we want now. As a result, we are not only losing our patience, but also finding it increasingly difficult to discern God's timing. Patience is a spiritual fruit, Galatians chapter 5, verse 22, and scripture makes it clear that God is pleased with us when we display this virtue. Be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him, Psalm chapter 37, verse 7. For God is good to those who wait for him, Lamentations chapter 3, verse 25. And our patient often reveals the degree of trust we have in God's timing. We must remember that God operates according to his perfect and foreordained eternal schedule, not ours. We should take great comfort in knowing that when we wait on the Lord, we receive divine energy and strength. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31. The psalmist reiterates, wait on the Lord. Be of good courage and he shall strengthen your heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Psalm chapter 27, verse 14. Another key to understanding God's timing is trust. In fact, our ability to wait on the Lord is largely related to how much we trust him. When we trust in God with all of our heart, foregoing reliance on our own often erroneous understanding of circumstances, He will indeed give us direction. Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 and 6. The Lord's unfailing love surrounds the man who trusts Him. Psalm chapter 32, verse 10. To fully trust God, however, we need to know God, and the best way to know Him is through His Word. God's divine energy is released in our lives through his inspired word, 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 13. The work of God's word includes savings, Romans chapter 10, verse 17, teaching and training, 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16 and 17, guiding, Psalm chapter 119, verse 105, protecting, Psalm chapter 119, verse 114, strengthening, Psalm chapter 119, verse 28, and making us wise, Psalm chapter 119, verses 97 through 100. If we study and meditate on his word daily, his timing will also become clear to us. When we question God's timing, it is often because we are looking for guidance or deliverance from a difficult situation. We can rest assured, however, that our Heavenly Father knows exactly where we are in our lives at every moment. He either put us there or is allowing us to be there all for his own perfect purpose. In fact, God often uses trials to strengthen our patience, allowing our Christian faith to mature and become complete. James chapter 1, verses 3 and 4. And we know that all things, including these difficult trials, work out for the good of those who love God. Romans chapter 8, verse 28. God does indeed hear the cries of his children and will answer those cries according to his perfect will and timing. A righteous man may have many troubles, but the Lord delivers him from them all. Psalm chapter 34, verse 19. The plans God has for his children are good plans to help us, not hurt us. Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11. Want to learn more? Subscribe so you don't miss the next video. Visit godquestions.org for more great content. And check out the details section below this video. There's one book I recommend along with several related articles. 
If you'd like to learn about Bible Munch, or if you're interested in bite-sized devotionals, subscribe to Bible Munch on YouTube. It's linked right here. Now remember, you got questions, the Bible has answers, and we'll help you find them.